Hello everybody and welcome back to some more shenanigans to Sneaky Sasquatch and to a brand new day. And let me tell you guys, this one is going to be an absolutely exciting day because we're going to finally be able to explore the latest update for Sneaky Sasquatch. And this one is going to be something that I've been looking for for quite some time. Now before we jump into this one, let me actually make my way right over here, get a little bit of food as we are kind of starving. There we go. And as soon as we are finished with this, I'm going to start making my way towards the new destinations at least. I hope we're going to be able to find some new destinations. Now, in the list sneak peeks that I also provide on the channel here, I showed you guys some new locations, uh, including, of course, the Flash Flowing River. And that one is the most exciting thing for me. Uh, hmm. I'm also seeing a few mushrooms around that they were definitely around, around before. Really curious to see what that is all about. Anything in the news? Nope, nothing in the news. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me just keep on driving here. Uh, actually, hold up, before we do anything, why don't I just have a little bit of chat with the duck here? And uh, see if we have some new things that we can explore. Hey, back for more construction, huh? Ah, look at this, we can make a trash can. Alright, not that, not, uh, wait, what? What is this? We definitely didn't have this before. We can customize the look of our house and personalize it. Are you kidding me? No freaking way. This is so good. So this one's going to be the main area, which, you know what? Of course, I'm going to go with that with black and white because this is what I've been doing with uh, all my uh, devices here, including the cars. So let's just make the rooftop all black, just like that. I really want to get this Scandinavian look to it. And the door is going to be not white. I think I want to make it full black. Look at this. Just because it's going to have a little bit of contrast and I absolutely love it. Alright, what else can we customize? Ooh, the carport. Okay, wait, what? I can't see the carport though. <laughs> Is my carport glitched? Hmm. Yeah, I think the carport must be glitched or, or, or something like that. But I'm still going to make it black and white either way. And whenever the devs are going to fix it, I guess I'm going to fix it as well. Ah, we can also change the flower garden. Alright, well, I'm definitely going to make these ones as well black, just because they're going to give a little bit of contrast. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. Uh, the bear shelter. Uh, apparently this one is glitched as well, unfortunately. That's fine. Let's just make this one black, I guess, and whenever it's going to be fixed, it's also going to show up. Alright, there we go. Perfect. What else? Can we change the doghouse? I'm really hoping that's going to be uh, also changeable. Uh, this one is going to be as well black, and white over here there we go that looks nice Ooh, the dog has as well knew it so apparently everything that has like a rooftop everything that has like a rooftop can be changed hmm love it all right buddy look at that you got a gorgeous looking house now uh the board here for the daily challenges is also gonna change of course i'm gonna try to make everything having the same style Right, and apparently that is a ooh a mystery project. This project must be discovered first before it can be built. Of course it can. Hmm. All right. Anyway, uh, at least we know that we're gonna have brand new things. And you know what? While we're at it, let's also get ourselves a trash can. Why not? There you go. <laughs> Man, I absolutely love it that we can now customize our house. Oh my god, this looks so gorgeous. Look at this. This looks so good. I love it looking like this. Oh, and the trash can apparently is going to be all the way to the back. Yeah, we can now. Uh, hold up. I think I do have... Yeah, this one. We got a golden fish that we can always go ahead and put in here. Because we we are going to have to get this stuff uh, to the summit bear, of course. To get some extra coins. Why not? There we go, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> um, and I absolutely love it. All right. That is awesome. Uh, what else have we got here, though? Anything else changed? So we do have the bear. Oh my god, look at this. This path wasn't here before, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this path was not here before. Hmm. Where is this gonna, gonna take us to, though? I wonder. Uh, let me have a little bit of chat with my buddy here, then. Let's see. Anything changed the shop? Maybe some new things? Um, no, we definitely did not get new things in the shop. That's kind of unfortunate. Hey! See anything you like? I wish I, I did, buddy, but unfortunately you didn't bring anything new. So uh, we're going to have to just go ahead and uh, check for other things. Alright, well, in that case, you know what? 
let me just jump straight into the car here and make my way to the golf course because this is where we have some brand new locations that I was really excited to check out in this latest update. Oh god, I am up. so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's kind of raining and everything is looking kind of weird, but it's fine. I'm definitely going to check out my house as soon as the rain stops, just because I'm really excited to see how that looks. Alright, get out of the way. Just gotta keep on checking out. Now, if you guys haven't seen my sneak peeks, although I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have already seen them, uh, the secret area that I'm talking about is gonna be right over here. As we're crossing the golf course, uh, there is gonna be a, an entrance that is gonna take us to one of the secret caches. And by the looks of it, from what I've seen from the sneak peeks and the photo provided by developers, uh, that's where we're gonna be able to find the brand new location. Alright, so if I make my way through this side... Oh, look at that! I knew it! It looks like we have a cave! Huh, can I actually drive through that and enter the cave? Oh, you know what? I don't think we can. Yeah, look at that. This is just blocking the path. Hmm, so we're probably gonna need to find a different way here to get to this side. Maybe by using a boat or something like that? But, as I was saying guys, keep in mind that flowing rivers, if this is going to be the case of course, flowing rivers are always going to eventually end up in the ocean, right? So maybe what we're supposed to do is just make our way to the ocean and from there grab a boat in order to bring it here. Yeah, that may be the solution. That may actually be the solution. Come on buddy, you got this. Alright, so we got that. Let me just make my way to this side of the river. Or should I say the pond, never mind. And... Ooh! Look at that! We just got a brand new digging hole. Huh. Interesting. We just found our first uh, new digging hole in this latest update. Love it. Of course, I'm never gonna say no to some uh, free cash, for sure. Alright, well, in that case, you know what I'm gonna do here? I think uh, we may need to make our way somewhere to... Maybe the ocean? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you know what I haven't checked? Hold up. Let me just check the map real fast here. Let's see if uh, this changed. Hmm. Did it change? Oh, it did. Look at this. We now have this flowing river going up to here. And I'm guessing this flowing river, it's going to, yeah, look at that. It's going straight to the golf course. Interesting. Which means I am going to be able to make my way to the lake maybe and from here make my way to this pond? Hmm. I also see another river connected to the lake here and then going up to down here somewhere. Maybe this is going to the ocean? And at the same time it's connecting to this river that's, uh, that we can actually see as it passing the bridge and getting to the town. You know what? Let me do something here. Um... Let me just jump into my car back again. Actually, let me just uh, skip as I'm gonna get to my car. Alright, buddy. Let's keep on going. We got new places to visit. We got so many things to visit. Alright, so as I was saying, as I got to my car, let me also try to get to the lake. Let's just see what we got here. Hmm. Oh, hold up. I just noticed quite a lot of stuff. Look at these things. We got mushrooms on the trees. Huh. Am I actually supposed to collect these? Yeah, because I cannot really interact with them. So maybe somebody's gonna give me like a mission in order to interact with them. I also see some really crazy looking mushrooms on this tree. Yeah, but we can definitely not interact with them, at least not yet. Alright, anyway, let me just uh, try to paddle with this canoe and see if we can find the path at the bottom here. Really curious if uh, the area has actually expanded. I mean, you know what? I think this has changed a little bit. Ooh! Look at that! The flowing river! Uh, of course it's not gonna allow me to go there. Yeah, it's just pushing me back. Hmm. Which means I may need to bring here a faster boat or something like that if I want to get up there. Because rowing with a canoe is definitely not gonna work. Definitely, definitely not gonna work. Hmm. That is awesome though. I'm absolutely loving these updates. Every single time developers are submitting a new update for this game, I'm always gonna check it out. Come on over and check it out. 
just because uh, it's so fun to explore new areas in this game, I absolutely love it. I think currently my favorite thing, my favorite updates for the game have always been the ones where new areas have been introduced here. Ah, look at that. So yeah, as I was saying, we are gonna have another river flowing this way out of the uh, lake, but unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately we cannot really cross because of those boulders. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to blow those up somehow. Hmm. Maybe I could try to make my way underwater and see how those boulders look. I mean, I guess I can try. If I'm gonna find a spot here to just simply park my boat. Aha, uh -huh, so we cannot see the boulders. And not only that, I cannot even go outside the water. Interesting, so they have definitely done a few changes here and there. Alright, well, in that case, you know what? Let's just try to do something else. Let me just try to make my way to the ocean. By going... <gasps> Look at that, I knew it! So this is gonna be the connection that we needed. Um, by going through here, we're probably gonna be able to make our way eventually to the lake. Interesting. Alright, you know what? Let me also get a, a little bit of sleep here to try to reset the day. There we go. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I wanted to reset the day because I was hoping that the uh, rain is going to stop, but never mind. Hmm. Oh, look at this. That crook that we caught and released, it's not here anymore. Hmm. Or maybe he is, but uh, on this save, I think if I'm not mistaken, I did not forgive him. So yeah, maybe that's why he's not here anymore. Aha! And look at that. Just as I thought, we are going to have the entrance to the river. And two sides over here that we can also go on and explore. Interesting. So we got one here that's also going to have a digging hole that I'm definitely going to try to get. There you go, buddy. Thank you very much. And I'm pretty sure we're also going to have uh, one maybe under the water right here somewhere. Let me just go ahead and check it out. Who knows? Maybe we're also going to be able to find like a secret cache. You guys know I love those. Again, who doesn't love some free coins? Man, but look at how clean this ocean is here. What the heck? And look at that, I knew it. We do have a little bit of uh, dirt to collect, but a dingy hole as well. Alright, I'm gonna keep on going a little bit to the left before we're gonna head on out. Just to see if I can find more things. I'm curious if we can find also some gold bars. Oh, I do see a crab. For a second there, I thought this crab was going to be a uh, sea cucumber. That would have been amazing. Alright, that's just a crab. Never mind. And this one is not going to allow me to keep on going anywhere, unfortunately. Alright. So this is uh, how deep it is, unfortunately. Let's just keep on going. Collect a little bit more trash while we add it. I was on our, on our way out. go thank you very much yeah this is definitely pretty big eh? we can definitely go on and exploring here and uh, grab ourselves a lot of uh, a lot of recycling trash now this is still a really great strategy to make a lot of money in uh, sneaky Sasquatch I know that one of my members mackerels he absolutely loves doing this all right before I'm gonna go with my boats let's just see what this is I think this kind of looks like a path to get back to the marina Ah, oh, it is! Interesting. So you can go back here by foot as well if you want to. Hmm. I like it. Alright, so what if I go through this path though? Where is this gonna take me to? This one is taking me to... Ooh, look at that! Another dingy hole. Love it. Now, I do see that this path here is gonna be blocked. It's not gonna allow me to keep on going to the top. So I don't know if the other one is going to be blocked as well, but I think I'm just going to jump on the boat and try to drive up the river. Um, just because I really want to see where this is going to take me to. Alright, and we are back. So, if I'm going to keep on going... Actually, hold up. If I'm going to keep on going at the bottom... Oh, never mind. It's just going to block me. Mm -hmm. So we know that there's nothing there. In that case, let me keep on driving the boat straight up ahead. And I noticed that the right side of the river here seems to not be blocked. Interesting, which means I may be able to keep on going. Yeah, look at that. It's definitely going to allow me to keep on going. 
And I'm probably gonna be also be able to cross through there with those rocks. I don't know. Uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna be able to cross through these rocks. And I also see a digging hole. Look at this. So that's why I'm gonna need to come back up here. Interesting. Now, if I park my boat here... Yeah, the river is just gonna take it down, so you cannot do that. Interesting. Alright, anyway, in that case... Come on, buddy, it's just so difficult to drive it. Not allow me to, though. <laughs> Can I just stop it for a second? Yeah, I cannot exit. I just wanted to leave the boat there for a second so I can go and grab that digging hole, but I guess I'm gonna have to do it later on. For now... Aha! Uh -huh. So this one is splitting, and what I'm thinking here is that this path is probably taking me to the bridge to the uh, that gets me to the tower. It is! Aw oh, man, but unfortunately, of course, it is blocked. Oh, I do see two fishes here. But you know what? I don't think I can fish because I, I keep on being pushed by this river. And I have a fishing. I, and I have a feeling that fishing is absolutely impossible. Alright, anyway, let's keep on going. Oh, look at this. This is the area that I wanted to get to. This is the mysterious project, guys. We found it. But... Alright, look at that. And of course, I'm going to have to come ahead and uh, chat with the duck in order to open this up. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a dock. And I have a feeling that maybe at this dock, we are going to be able to quick spawn our boat. And from here, of course, make our way fast to uh, the ocean. Oh man, this is so good. Love it. What about this fella? Hey pal, could you help me out here? I've got a job to do, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Dynamite. We used to have a big crate full of it, but somebody came and stole the whole thing. The person that took it definitely wasn't wearing glasses. That's all I remember. Those rocks over there have an appointment with Dr. Explosion. So let me know if you find dynamite. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we knew that we we're gonna have this in the game and that we gotta go blow up, but... Where is this gonna take me to? Let me check the map for a second. So we know that we took the boat over here, right? And we got to right on this side and we couldn't go further. But next up, we came with the boat back and we took it this way. Oh, you know what? I think... I think this path is gonna take me back home, right over here. Back to my camp. Because we did see the uh, bear over there with some boulders behind it. And those were definitely not there. So this is definitely gonna be a way for us to come from our house to be able to access the uh, boats really fast. And from there, of course, make our way to the ocean. Oh man, that is so sweet. Such a great connection that they made. I love it. Alright, buddy. Um, I think I'm gonna have to try to figure out who the heck has the dynamite. In that case, let me keep on going. Let's see what's gonna take us to next. So, from here... Man, it's so difficult to drive. What is that? Look at that cabin over there at the bottom. That is so cool. What about this fella? Yeah, this fella seems to want to blow up a wall over there. Hmm. Interesting. I am really, really intrigued right now, actually, to see what this is all about. Uh, you know what? Let me just go ahead and check it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this fella is going to want to blow up this wall. In order to get really fast at that cabin, I guess? Let's just check out this dude. Hey pal, could you help me out here? I've got to do a job, but I'm missing a dynamite. Aha, uh -huh, so this guy's saying the same thing. Apparently the guy without glasses um, took their dynamite. You know what, let me just use the camera here for a second. Uh, let me switch to the camera. I want to see who this guy is at the bottom. Ah, oh, look at that! Huh. I mean, this guy doesn't have glasses. Could this be it? He definitely looks kind of like a witch. <laughs> that is so weird. And I feel like the way we're gonna get to him is if I blow this up, but... If that guy has the dynamite, then how the heck am I gonna get the dynamite to blow this up? Hmm... Yeah, we gotta find a way, maybe, a, a different way to get to him? Um... 
Yeah, anyway, let's just uh, take this path, I guess. Keep on exploring. Man, are you kidding me? Did it just create a huge forest? It definitely did. <laughs> me personally, I absolutely love this about uh, Sneaky Sasquatch. Whenever the devs are introducing new areas that we can explore, such as this one. Look at that. That's getting us to a digging hole. I'm always going to love this because... I don't know, I feel like the best updates for Sneaky Sasquatch are going to always be the ones that are going to unlock new places. And this is exactly what this one is doing. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep on following this path. I really want to see what this is all about, though. Come on, buddy. Alright, we got another open spot over here, but... Mm, this one is a dead end, never mind. It kind of feels like there's a lot of areas you can go, but these openings are just dead ends by the looks of it. Yeah, they're not taking us anywhere. Oh my god, what the heck? This forest is huge. Where is it going to even take me to? I am so confused right now. Can I use the camera to look uh, around a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's just trees and trees and more trees. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think I hear the river. Yeah. Look at that. The river's right here. So, by the looks of it, we are just on the side of the river. Is this like a way to cross through the trees to get to an opening that's going to allow me to grab maybe some more digging holes? Hmm. I don't even know. Oh, it's not. This is just a way to get to this fella. What? The Mushroom Hunter. Well, hello there. You look familiar. Like, I've met you before somewhere. Wait a minute. I recognize that hair anywhere. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> Regina Junior, right? Uh, let's go with no. Hmm, that's a classic Regina Junior joke. You're still a fun guy, I see. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you. I lost my glasses recently and I can barely see anything. You must be here because you want to get into the mushroom pickup business, eh? Hmm. Are you ready to get started? Wait, so did, he did say something about losing his glasses and the ducks said that somebody that definitely doesn't have glasses sold the dynamite. So maybe this is the guy that sold the dynamite? Uh, are you ready to get started? Uh, you know what? I think we are supposed to grab all the mushrooms around the world and bring them to this guy. Uh, maybe he's going to give us a brand new book similar to the fishing book that we got. And once we got all of them, he's probably then going to give me the dynamite. Great. First thing first, you need a couple of things. I knew it! Look at that! The mushroom book! <laughs> that is awesome! Alright, the mushroom guide has clues on where to find each type of mushroom. It's very helpful. Next, you need some foraging tools. You definitely can have my extra set. <laughs> a basket, look at that! Those tools will let you to safely pick up mushrooms and you can store them in the basket. One last thing, mushroom pickups can be very dangerous. Lots of wild mushrooms are poisonous, so don't even try to eat them. Um, okay, I'm kind of starting to get a little bit scared here. I'll buy any mushrooms you bring me, so get out there and start picking in. Hmm, so he said that he's going to buy everything that I'm going to bring him. Intra I knew it, look at this! The stack of dynamite! Hmm, there's a bunch of dynamite here. It probably belongs to the mushroom hunter. You better leave it alone. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. I really wanted that. Hold up. Let me try to eat something real fast. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that in order to grab the stack of dynamite, I may need to bring this guy all the mushrooms. And of course, he's only going to give us the dynamite like a reward once we do that. Oh man, this is so epic. Alright, so if I go into the menu, I check this out. Yeah, look at that. There's going to be like four stages, four checkpoints we got to reach. And I feel like we don't have to do it like 100%. I feel like if you come like up to here, it's probably going to be good enough for him to give me the dynamite. Ah, yeah, look at this. It looks like all the mushrooms that we can collect, they're going to be marked down in this book, which kind of makes it a little bit easy to figure out where they are. I mean, these ones seem to be popping up near apple trees. Uh, this one is probably close to some fences somewhere. Maybe like the dirt races area. 
All right, this one's gonna be on the woods, on the trees. The purple coral mushroom. I have no idea where these are though. Oh, you know what? This is purple coral, which means it's probably gonna be somewhere on the island. All right, which butter mushroom? Man, there's so many. What? Oh my god, I love it. All right, well, uh, we got a brand new mission by the looks of it. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so epic. Now, I'm really curious. What's gonna happen to Sasquatch if he actually eats some of those poisonous mushrooms? Look at that, we found some. Pine mushrooms. Hmm. I mean, we're definitely not putting them here. I don't even know how to access the uh, picnic basket though. But at least we got our first mushrooms. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be the best thing ever. Yeah, we're going to have to start looking for these mushrooms in every single corner possible. And I don't even know where to start. Of course, that guy that we just got, that is going to be very useful. Pretty sure about it. Pretty... Ooh, look at that. Another one. And these are the uh, puffball mushrooms. Awesome. I'm not going to even try to eat any doubt, to tell the truth. I'm just going to try to collect as many as possible. And then I'm going to try to take him to this fella, just because I do want to finish up this guide and eventually get myself the uh, dynamite. Those dynamites are going to save... Uh, those, dy those dynamites are going to just be very useful, as they're going to allow me to get really easily to at least this location as well, to this guy. Hmm. I don't even know what, what, what I want to go next. Uh, hold up. No, no, no. Go the other way. Turn around, turn around. There we go. Perfect. Now, I know that uh, there's an opening at the top there, but what about this side? Another duck, look at that! Aha! So there is another crossing over here that we are going to be eventually able to open up once, of course. I'm going to get myself the dynamite. And I have no idea where that's going to take me to. But what about the top? Oh god, sorry about that fishy. Oh, this is taking us... Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is epic. I completely forgot about this area. Alright, oyster mushrooms. Awesome. Ooh, hold up, there's a little bit here. Behind the tree. The blue chandelier mushroom. That looks so cool. I don't know if uh, mushrooms are going to be affected by if it's raining or not. It definitely kind of feels like it. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I guess you can actually see that in the guide. So if I'm going to go in the guide right now. Let's see. If you see a picture with like rain on it, it's probably going to be because I need to find these mushrooms only during the uh, rain time. Look at that. Yeah, this one is definitely at the sawmill. And this one, it's kind of looking like it's only appearing during the night time, yeah. That is pretty cool. Uh, what the heck is this, though? I'm not sure. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think it's, this one is at the museum. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just I thought. Apparently, you can only find the blue with mushrooms uh, during a rainy time somewhere in the forests. So I'm supposed to look in the forest somewhere for these ones. Only when it's raining. So maybe I am going to be lucky enough to find him. I don't know, because it is rainy right now. And I'm pretty sure I cannot keep on going to the top, right? Because there's going to be rocks here. Never mind. We can make our way with the boat <laughs> in the campground. Are you kidding? I mean, how freaking epic is that? Look at that, another set of mushrooms. And because we already have these ones, uh, it looks like you cannot really grab them. Any mushrooms inside the caves? I mean, there's probably going to be some mushrooms inside the caves, right? Yeah, but maybe not in this one. Interesting. Uh, it is nighttime and it's also raining, so maybe that mushroom that I would really want to grab, it's not going to show up during the nighttime um, and the rain time. I can definitely keep on going though. There's a lot of these uh, simple ones that I would keep on finding. 
right let's see any mushrooms around here no mushrooms to the top so no reason to go there um unfortunately no mushrooms around here hold up you know what let me just get myself some food because i'm kind of low on food in my backpack there we go wait these guys are chatting why not just give myself a little bit of food here perfect Ooh, look at these. Are these the ones? I think they are. The blue mushroom. Yep, we found them. Awesome. And it's a good thing because it's also raining. And I'm pretty sure that the next day it's not going to be raining anymore. Alright, nothing on this side. Man, I'm really tempted to start eating some mushrooms. I, although I don't think you can eat the mushrooms. I don't think you can access. Ooh, a yellow mushroom. There we go. Ah, this one does look awesome. The chandelier, the chandelier mushroom. Yeah, I don't think you can access your bag here to uh, eat the mushrooms. And you know what, guys? Look at this. This is, I'm pretty sure this is those rocks that we're going to be able to blow up in order to get to uh, the river a little bit faster. And also, of course, build ourselves um, a really awesome place uh, to park our boats. Let me just chat with this uh, duck here and see if that's exactly what it is. Pretty sure that's what we're gonna be able to get. Look at that, a river dock. I knew it. And in order to build this up, we just need two stacks of wood, which is really not that bad. I already have um, almost one full stack. I just need to bring a little bit more, I guess. Yeah, I just need to bring a little bit more, and that should be it. Uh, but I have a feeling we're only gonna be able to build that um, only once we're gonna have the rocks blown up. Mm, not quite sure. Alright, anyway guys, that being said, uh, I think uh, this is where we're going to have to end up the episode right now. And look at how gorgeous our house looks. But of course, it's going to look even better tomorrow once uh, the rain is going to stop. And when we come back at the next one, I'm definitely going to keep on exploring the world a little bit here. And when we come back at the next one, we are going to start looking around and start foraging. Try to collect all the mushrooms. Because I have a feeling, once we're going to get all of them, we're probably going to get the dynamite. And finally, be able to get the river a little bit faster. Alright guys, in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like, if you didn't, just dislike, that's fine, and if you guys are new here to the channel and have subscribed yet, go ahead and do that, because it's completely free, and uh, Sasquatch just fainted, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy all the content I create every single day, and in the meantime, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one really soon, bye everybody!